praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Someone may ask, why are you coming away this Monday morning? Today is Pentecost Monday. In the European countries, we cherish these wonderful days. And yesterday was the day of Pentecost. So today is a holiday that many people are remembering when the Holy Ghost came on earth. So in most countries in the Central European nations, everyone is celebrating a holiday. Our times, uh, I, I get puzzled if people say that Europe, people don't uh, worship God. And they feel maybe as the Christianity is on the ascendancy in Africa, the Christians in Africa are worshipping God better than the people in Europe. But I want to bring some education here. The birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a holiday. For most of the people in the world. The death of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is the Good Friday, is a holiday in most nations. But the Holy Saturday, it is no holiday in most countries. But here in Deutschland, this Holy Saturday is regarded so high in the life of all Christians. And though the founding fathers place it as Holiday for people to uh, reflect on Christ's death and going uh, in the grave. Now, for my brethren, so now we have been in the corner. And now, I now have made that my my brethren. And so, so we are in the corner. I did. I have made that. And if any brethren, it's not saying what you need. Yes, Christ, you go. And if I see a year, I call you. No, I don't On his resurrection, you will sorry, you know. It is the uh, the the resurrection day. That is Easter, and in most countries. It's also a holiday, and people go and celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But many people stop there. And they feel Jesus' ministry ends up in his resurrection. But the founding fathers in Europe, Realize that there is an extension between the uh, resurrection and then the coming of the Holy Ghost. So after 40 days when Jesus met with his disciples, he told them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but they should go and wait. That is the word we call tarry. Tari is waiting. Now people want to have microwavable Holy Spirit. That within five minutes you receive the Holy Ghost. But the Holy Ghost cannot be microwavable. It is to tarry, to wait before the Holy Spirit comes into your life. So, Jesus uh, said, go and tarry till you are endowed with power from an eye. And whilst he was speaking with them, then they realized that he was ascending into heaven. And then he was ascending. And then two men stood by the disciples. And they asked, why do you gaze into heaven? As if this Jesus had not spoken to you of what is to come. 
But this same Jesus. Oh, I feel like preaching. This same Jesus will come again. And so the founders of this nation who are godly and they are God fearing, they realize that the ascension day is very important and they created it as a holiday for most of the European nations. Even if somebody does not go to church in Europe, and it's all being quite a sorry poor our Europe, especially here in Germany. And I say, uh, uh, you Germany. If the person works, send it to my percentage of his salary is taken, which we call it Kirchen Steuer. They send it to the church. And for now, one quite sorry, you know, now you know, you know, how much you will be. So people who talk against tithes and offering, they don't know what they are talking about. Somebody who is not even born again, but associated himself with the church, and then he's working, even doesn't know the church, the church doesn't see him, the church doesn't preach as I'm coming your way. But every month that person pays kitchen store, church money, church tax that they give to the church. But for we Pentecostals, we don't take kitchen store. That is why we believe in tithes and offerings. And it is for the work of the ministry. And then the angel said to them, that do you, why are you watching into heaven? But go and wait. So they never departed from Jerusalem. They went to Jerusalem and stayed in the upper room for 10 days. In their waiting process, they did elections. And they elected Matthias to be added to the 11 after Judah had hung himself. Incidentally, the Jesus' mother Mary was with them and the brothers of Jesus. So they were also part of the people who were the first recipient of the Holy Ghost. And so Jesus' mother became a Pentecostal. Jesus' brothers became Pentecostal. So don't tell me Pentecostal is a new move. Those who believe in Christ, they receive Pentecost. And I pray that this very afternoon, you will receive Pentecost in your heart. Amen. So that day also the founding fathers made it a holiday for us. But that day came, that coming of the Holy Ghost came on a Sunday. So they said, if a Sunday you have gone to worship God, Monday. Just stay and reflect in the power of the Holy Spirit. So today, hence our coming your way this very afternoon. That today is a holiday here in Deutschland and most of the European nations. And we are preaching on the Holy Spirit. The promised Holy Spirit. Amen. And it's in our case, and yes, a cosida, who conclude that is cosida, and the Adjuda, Munkona Munkoji, Mahome, and Utina Yabawa Kwemu, and Nana Yabaka, who conclude the The Spirit has come forever to abide. I have Pentecost in my soul. Oh, the Spirit has come forever, forever to abide. I have Pentecost in my soul. I have Pentecost in my soul. I welcome you to this afternoon service. I have in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Who we are going to talk about him today? God of Ababasuka. I am ready for in my soul. The Spirit forever.
Hallelujah. We need him. Just wrap your appetite and go before the presence and the Holy Spirit. Who be poor and will ask with difference. So that I will what you will come. St. John chapter 14, verse 15 to 18. So that I will what you will come. Let you know that So 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 According to St. John chapter 14, verse 50 to 80. So I'm by your body, Jaino. So I'm by your Verse 15 to 18. And I read from the New King James Version of the Holy Scriptures. Sampano said, You honey Troy, no, it did not you move to Nunco see to watch a country. New King James says, If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father. And he will give you another helper. Other versions say, Another comforter. If the Bible belongs to you, Underline this way another helper or another comforter hmm. that he may abide with you forever. The spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you. And will be in you. 
I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Somebody say amen. Amen. As empano senior Yohani etroyano tidu na yimudu nim kosi du motwe. Me ken kai asante chudo no. Se mudomia muni masadi aso. Na me die me busa eja no na wa mamu otijina fo foforo. Se chira no yawo dia na wa san otijina fo foforo no ase. Na oni mo abetna da. No kura hon hon a wiase ntumi nyino no. E fi se enhuno nanso enimno na mode e munimno e fi se otemo nchen na obetna mumu winyamu nyanka na meba mo nchen amen amen anyone who wants to die and knows that he has some few hours to die he will say things that are prioritized to him onipa bia da obewu o ni wonu se wo no nhwiri kakra bi ansa na wo firi mu no can you maybe a who yaman ye? He will leave all those things that are unnecessary and take the things that are very important. And Yamanka and who yan will be done in Yagunja and Afen Yama a dimuno or Fasan Yamano. And Jesus Christ knows that his days were near and he is about to die. Now for Yasu Christo, who knows that none in Nano Abbe, sir, Obeu. And he has been healing the sick, raising the dead, deal, doing some wonderful things. Feeding multitude. Signs and wonders were accomplishing his ministry. But few days before he died, he divert his attention on everything and every ministration. Blessed are the poor in spirit and all those beatitudes. And then focus on one thing. That is the Holy Spirit. And they began to talk about the most vital thing on earth. He began to talk about his leaving the earth. And the people were sad that Jesus was about to leave them. Because if somebody's mother-in-law was sick with fever, Jesus would go there and heal that person. If somebody's daughter is sick, like Jairus' daughter, I will call for Jesus to come and heal. And they say, So they realize that they have a comforter with them. They have an advocate with them. They have the power of God with them. And even after Jesus had healed Jairus' daughter, the critics were saying that, oh, he just fell into coma. Maybe it was unconsciousness. So Jesus said, well, you're okay, wait. I will show you that that girl was not in coma or in state of uh, unconsciousness. But I will prove to you that I am Lord over everything. I am Lord in heaven, Lord on earth, Lord under the earth. So I will prove to you, I will show you a sign that all those who are criticizing me will see and will be ashamed. As I come away this very afternoon, let the Lord show a sign of good on your behalf. That those who hate you will see and they will be ashamed because the Jehovah Lord will help you and will comfort you. So Jesus said, Wait. So when they brought the news that his friend Lazarus was sick, uh, Jesus said, Well, I, I will not want to go there early. So that critics will doubt my miracle. So I leave him to die. At times, God wants to show something unto you that the enemy is coming your way. And you are helping God come. 
Jesus come. And then, up, 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 but Jesus wants to prove na, beyond na, reasonable na, doubt na, that if God be for you, who can be against you? No weapon from against you shall be able to cross Neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers. And no war and cry, and I say above for, and I say to me, to me, nor death, nor life, and I say a warning will be able to separate you from the love of God. In all things, you are more than a conqueror through Christ who loves you. And I'm Christ, Jesus Christ, that one so. So Jesus said, well. I will not go now. So he just spoke the language of the spirit to his disciples. But the disciples could not understand the language of the spirit. I pray that you understand the language of the spirit in the name of Jesus. For them by then, they were not being baptized with the Holy Ghost. But I pray that you have been baptized with the Holy Ghost. And if you have not been baptized with the Holy Ghost, may the Holy Spirit fall upon you. Receive the Holy Spirit. So Jesus said, my friend Lazarus is sleeping. Now for Jesus Christ to say, Madam for Lazarus, what da? I said, Jesus. I said, Yes, if he's sleeping, just leave him, he will wake up. Say, depending on that, yeah, any John one more sorry. Because where we are going, they are planning to kill you and you're going back there. It's just a baby, yeah, yeah, see young cono, a one who won't be working. So Jesus shifted from the spiritual talk to the a natural talk. <laughs> the Bible says a carnal man cannot understand the things of the Spirit of God. They cannot know them because spiritual things are spiritually the same. And Jesus said, my friend Lazarus is dead, but I want you to believe, I'm not there, to know that I, God, I am God, and I'm omniscient. I, I like if you are in Bayern, there are some songs that you have to know how to sing. Oh, mini potent God. Oh, mini silent God. Among all the gods, Jehovah, there is none like you. Oh, mini potent God. I want to go to my own. Oh, mini silent God. Kill a bird. I'm not there, but I'm all munitions. I know all things. By word of knowledge, I'm telling you that Lazarus, my friend, is there. Now, yes, you so cast. I said, I have a woman who said, Minimum, I didn't know. Minam, um, Yansakasa, so Casatra, I said, Madame for Lazarus. If I go there early, people, the critics will say the same thing. That he, he didn't die, he, he was in a state of coma. But I'm waiting till he dies. And not only that, they bury him. So that you can know that I'm God, that I can give life and life abundance. So Jesus got there by the fourth day. The termites and the cockroaches might have eaten the body. He might be stingy. And Jesus got there. And then the sister said, Jesus, if you have been here, my brother would not have died. It is wrong. Jesus had been there already. And then they said, Jesus, your brother will live. And then they began to talk about futuristic. The last day. 
the day of resurrection but they have not yet grasped that Jesus is the resurrection so Jesus wanted this situation to come so that they have a revelation of who he is and Jesus said I am the resurrection the last day that you are talking about I am the healing that you need Jesus is the deliverance that you need Jesus is Jesus said I am the resurrection and the life anyone who believes in me though he were dead yet he will live do you believe and Jesus wept and then he went to the tomb and said roll the stone away I, 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 I get some, some excited it's one one of the commentators said something, he was just giving a commentary, but this is not the bible but just to give you a, a, a commentary on what the person was saying so when he, uh, Lazarus died and when they believed that Lazarus was talking with the, with the patriarchs and he was saying is it true that they said he has come in the volume of the book that is written of him all of us have wanted and wish we could have seen him but we didn't see him and we died Abraham, Isaac and Jacob Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Moses and all those people were wishing to see him so, but we understood that he is your friend is it true that the Messiah is on earth and so they were asking him is it true so while they were asking him Jesus cried with a loud voice Lazarus come forth and say, hey, I cannot answer you he is calling me he is calling me he is calling me and he came out of his room <laughs> and he jumped out of his room this very afternoon Jesus will call you wherever you are you are coming out the church is coming out of corona lockdown the church Church is coming out of lockdown. You are coming out of fear. You are coming out of diseases. In the name of Jesus. And then when they saw that a dead man buried four days had resurrected, they said, "We will kill this man." So Jesus began that if they want to kill me, let me speak first about something which is very important. So said, do, do, do not fear. In my father's house are many mansions. I would have told you. If it were not so, I would have told you. I'll go and prepare a place for you. When he said, I will go, then they became so much sad. And Jesus said, If you love me, then keep my commandments. And I'll pray my father. And he'll give you another helper. He will give you another comforter. The word another has to meanings one is called alo, alo, alos and one is called heteros heteros means another comforter of a different kind there are people if you are sad they take comfort from alcohol and so it's a comforter but it's from a different kind it is from the alcohol spirit some women if they want a man instead of relying on God they will go and take a, a, a do prostitution or take somebody who is not their husband that is another comforter of a different kind I went to a, a country to go and baptize some people, myself and my wife. By then, our kids were, uh, Charisma and Rima were very young, about two or three years. 
And so when they saw the power of God in my administration and how people were falling under anointing, not locomotive pushing them, but the power of God was slaying them. And then they realized that there is this is the genuine man of God. Healings were taking place. So one day, 50 people gave their lives to Jesus Christ. So, since they are giving their life to Jesus Christ, I decided to go and baptize them. So I drove from that place, uh, from we were staying in Nuremberg to that country. It was in Austria. So early in the morning, we drove, uh, we drove, uh, no, late in the night, so we arrived, so very late, so in the morning, I said, oh, Charisma and Rima were so tired, so mommy should let them sleep, so that I'll go to the riverside and baptize these Converts. I went to the riverside, I changed myself wearing my baptism uh, shorts and my baptism t-shirt and then I was expecting the women to come in and then the, the a new converts to come in for baptism. And I led them to Christ first. They accepted Christ and they went into change. So I have changed first. I was waiting for them. As to in the river, that, those times there were no deacon, there were no elder. You are the one who do everything. So I stood there and I was waiting for, for these people to come. To my surprise, when they were coming, they were all coming naked. The women and the men were coming naked. And I was I was I was afraid. And I shouted to one of the boys, say, Hey Willie, what are they doing? What, what, what are they doing? Give them. And so, some of them have to go and uh, the, uh, 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 that guy who is now Willie, he had to give some clothes from the wife to them and uh, some towels and some shorts and swimming costumes, but majority could not bring anything. So, I have to postpone the baptism and give them two weeks to prepare them for a real baptism i didn't understand this thing so i was asking why do you have to come to baptism naked not knowing some fake pastors had done holy bath to these people people's wives and uh, fake pastors. And I am praying that this uh, your your eyes will be enlightened, that you will not be deceived by this some of these fake prophets. I'm not talking about Africa, I'm talking about Europe. And people who are in Europe or they were in Europe, they have been bought by, by by fake and false prophets. And so they, when they saw the anointing, they saw the, oh, this is a kind of another pastor, another powerful prophet who had come. And they are, they are prophets or their pastor or their anointing is another anointing from another source. It's not from Pentecostal source. Heteros, that is the word. But I come there with the power of God through our Lord Jesus Christ. That is Alos, the same kind, the same one which is in our Lord Jesus Christ. So I said, I will give you another comforter. Comforter. Jesus is my comforter. Jesus is my comforter, I am not alone.
I am not a comforter. Jesus is my comforter. Jesus is my comforter. I am not a I am not a comforter. Hey, young man. Jesus is my comforter. I am not a I am not a Sing with that. May the Holy Spirit fall upon your life in the name of Jesus. I, 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 I am more than Lord. Hey. So, I will pray my father to give you another comforter, the same kind that I am with you. But another comforter will come that is from the same source for my father will come upon your life. And this person will not leave you but will abide with you forever. If the Holy Spirit comes unto you he stays with us forever. Hear this good news. It's with the Holy Repeat encore. May Paul help you. If Jesus sends his Holy Spirit unto you, even if you are dead, it's with you. Can I preach? Can I preach on? Can I preach a minute? Elisha died. Elisha died. And they are buried him. His bones were dry. But the anointing was still present in his body. And the mobiles were coming against the children of Israel. And they were carrying a dead body. And throw that body into the tomb of Elijah. The anointing in the dry bones of Elijah. As the body touched Elijah bones. The anointing in the dry bones was able to resurrect that man. I pray that this Holy Spirit, if you need anything, need, receive this Holy Spirit. Receive this Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. He will stay with you forever. It is the Spirit of Truth. Whom the world cannot receive. Because they neither see him. Nor know him. There is a difference. Jesus Christ, the Bible says, For God so loved the world, the world that he gave his only son. So the world can see Jesus. But for the Holy Spirit, unless you are in Jesus, you cannot see him. You cannot receive him. Because Holy Spirit works in Jesus. And the Bible says, now he dwells with you. Right now that I walk with is by your side or with you. Something power was not in the head. But when the Bible says that the Holy Spirit came upon him, when he cut his hair, he broke the vow. And it was a covenant breaker. So when he shook himself, the Holy Spirit didn't come. The difference between something and the church is that if a church is doing all the activities without the Holy Spirit, we can have mega church, but there is no power. All that we will sort is locomotive and then doing and, and, and performing. But I am tired of shout feeling. Shout feeling, yeah, I'll go. Yeah, yeah. For, for a Hollywood stars that are in, in the church. I want the real thing. I want the real thing. So the Bible says that it is not coming with you, but will come and live in you. Unfortunately, the one who will live for, with us forever, even to the end of our death, I could see or our life, it's supposed to be somebody who we should cherish. 
But he is the most neglected personality in the Godhead. Apostle Paul went into Corinth in the Apollos when he was passing through the upper regions of Ephesus. And he met disciples. And then he asked him, Have you received the Holy Spirit baptism? He said, We have not so much of head. Whether there is a Holy Spirit. So he was shocked and said, Into what baptism were you baptized? Because yesterday I told you there are two baptizers in the New Testament. One baptized with water and one baptized with Holy Ghost and fire. John baptized with water. And it's inferior to the one who baptized with the Holy Ghost and power, which is Jesus Christ. And he said, even that person, I'm not ready to unless his sandals. But these were believers and they asked him into what baptism they said, oh, I'm not ready to into John's baptism. And Paul said that John really baptized you into repentance. But they should believe so that they will be baptized them into Jesus who baptized with the Holy Spirit and with fire. And they believe and they lay hands on them and they receive the Holy Spirit. Twelve of them. The Bible says when the day of Pentecost had fully come. The promise of the Father. The Bible said they were in one place and suddenly there was a sound from heaven. Like a rushing mighty wind. Because when Jesus resurrected from the dead, the reason why the people understood that this is the Holy Spirit is that. That same day they have locked themselves in the building. And they were afraid. But Jesus penetrated through the walls. I don't know any door that has been locked in your life. But Jesus is coming into your life. In the name of Jesus. Financial lockdown. Spiritual lockdown. Church lockdown. Continental lockdown. Country lockdown. May Jesus penetrate through the lockdown. And touch our lives. In the name of Jesus. And so when Jesus went there, he said, Peace be unto you. And the Bible says, Jesus breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. The word breath is the Jewish word called ruach. And is the Greek word called new, which we have the word pneumatology. It is a wind that is blown into a balloon. And it fills the balloon and let the balloon get bigger. So when Jesus saw them receive a breath on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. When they saw the wind, they said, Ah, this wind. Is the breath. Is the breath. Because in the Bible, the Bible says when God created Adam, Adam was made out of the dust. And God breathed into Adam. And Adam became a living soul. So while they were there, they were like dead people. But when the wind came, the wind of life blew into their lives. And then they rose up from dead disciples to courageous disciples to be able to understand the realm of the things of the spirit and be the stead this is that which prophet Joel said in the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh your sons and your daughters shall prophesy I pray that after this work you will prophesy in the name of Jesus the old men shall dream dreams and your, your young men shall see visions I pray that the youth God should give you insight and foresight the old people we should have the insight of God 
the inside of going church. And then the young people should see vision. That the church is no more the way we operate in like yesterday. The vision to have into the media. To get people who are going to study media. To get people who are going to use media. As evangelistic tool. In, in the social media. You know the, you know use it to spread in the animal the floor, the you are. No, but you use it to spread gospel. You have vision. A vision to do a new church. A new way of doing church to possess the nations. That we can go to a land that we have never been there. But through this media, you can preach to somebody who is so close to you. May the Lord give you vision. Vision, 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 vision. May you receive it. And also, my May 7th and my May 7th, I also pour my spirit in those days. And I will show wonders in science and wonders in heaven above. And on earth, blood, fire, and vapor of smoke. The sun shall turn into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the awesome day the great and awesome day of the Lord it shall come to pass whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved I pray that you shall be saved so they began to speak in tongues because God had given them another comfort the same John who wrote this scripture said in 1st John chapter 2 my little children these things are right to you so that you do not sin and if anyone sins we have an advocate with the father Christ Jesus our righteous one we have a lawyer we have a lawyer we have a comforter so if you are falling in a sin know that we have a comforter we are somebody who will help you and then apostle paul when they spoke that that tongue people had come from all over the countries from arab from africa from mesopotamia from all those people and they heard them speak the language of men their own language where they were born I, 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 I will imagine somebody say oh it's libe my him leche father ah, it's up there guys it's dunking my hair ah, this feeling is so wonderful it's signaling my, my god and then the, the other way said they were a language of men when I came to when I came to Dutch, I didn't speak tree, but now because of the help of the Holy Spirit, I can speak tree. And some of them who can who can speak tree were blessing God. Oh, God, I thank you. We are to We are to We and then and then somebody in the other language will also be speaking ever and then somebody in my gun language oh, and somebody hey, i went to uh, not in the 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 book there and they will call jesus <laughs> They, they call it Isa Masia. Isa Masia. That means Jesus Christ. And then others were calling him Anabi Isa. And so they were calling him from every name. So it was a language of men that people could understand. But our apostle Paul, when he came to a place, he was saying that these things are right to you. You are not natural, but you are spiritual. You must understand. 
But when it comes to prophet, if you speak in tongues, you do not speak to men, but you speak to God. For no one understands it. There is a language that you understand, and there is a language that are mysteries that you not understand. And that one, you speak mysteries to God. And if it's a spirit that comes out of you, that is where when you get to, I call it a fifth gear. It is where we say, Rakatatata, Shianda, Kaye Kale to Loka, Imba Baba Baba, I speak in tongues. This is the power of Pentecost. And they began to speak in tongues. In the days when Cornelius was a Gentile, but he called for Apostle Peter. When Peter came there, Peter was going out and beating about the bush. And he said to say how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power. Went about doing good, healing all those who were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. He was wasting time. And the Holy Spirit fell upon the people. And the people began to speak. And they say of the truth. God has not shown partiality of every country and every people. And also the Bible says Simon went into a place called Samaria. And there was somebody who was a sorcerer. Whose, whose name was called Simon the sorcerer. And Philip had preached the gospel. But, but this guy are taking control of the city, uh, of the city from uh, from grown ups to the little ones. But Philip got there with the power of God. I'm coming your way with the power of God. Every, every sexual power will bow. Every contradictory spirit will bow. Every witchcraft spirit will bow. And then when he preached, this sorcerer believed. And then when Peter got there, and John to pray for the people of the Holy Spirit, and then they lay hands, and then the people went good, went like this. Rakatatatata, shindelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelel
in waiting alone and praying and traveling, not knowing God has given me a signal that there's something about to happen. So I was waiting. Nobody told me. The church didn't give me fasting and prayer, but I gave myself fasting and prayer and I was praying. So on the Good Friday, I dressed and I was about to go to the convention in trade fair, but then I was in Ghana. I want to mention names so that if anyone doubts this miracle, these some of these people are alive, and many people know them. They are the room, they are very known in our church, so you can go. And asked. I was there when Mama France, which many people in Church of Pentecost, you know Mama France, came to the house and she was going to trade first side. By then she was has been called as the Great Accra women's leader in the whole Great Accra and was going to be outdoor to the church. Now Mama France now we were hot no bell fears at time no no so or trade fair area hunting or not or no. So she came to the house. She's my aunt. She came to the house and then to tell us she's going on the trade fair site. And I said, I want to go with you. So she said, I want So I came out with a brown suit. Like today, I'm wearing brown. But that day, it was also a brown suit. And by then, my mom was alive. When, when I came out of the room with my tie, I would say, hey, your suit, the, the, the face of your suit is a bit dirty. Go and change it and wear another suit. My mom is very particular about all of us, the way you go out, the way you come in, every scar. She knows everything about us. Go and take, go and change. So I went there and said and told Mama from leaving me, let him check, take the church bus. And said no. Okay, so I will go with him. That means I will go with him. So I will have to wait for you. I was a member. I was not Osofu. I was a member. And then she waited. And I went and changed. And I wear a cream suit. This is a bit white, but it was a cream suit with my red tie. When I was a young man, I was a bit like, uh, yeah, you know, I was one of those guys that are not, I'm now old. So. <laughs> I was like a mountain. So I went home and just took my cream suit and with my red tie and, and some brooch on my, on my, on my shirt and we, we start in the car. When I came out, then Mama said, Yara, you die, OFA, four. That means I'm looking wonderful. So I sat at the back of the car. And we drove about seven minutes. We're driving on what they call the old Winneba Road. Going to the convention. And a 13 year old girl had gone to the beach side. To toilet and she's crossing the road without watching. Now, I was fear to me and saw what we are going to do. And so, we're also driving. Now, yes, so yeah, and a car had blocked, so we're overtaking the car. And the girl was also uh, running through the front of the car, and then we knocked the girl down. And you know, I say, be as you and quite here for a shine on size. And I'm a friend, so a tram was sending We're driving this old time Opel car, and that is not now. Uh, these cars that they do with plastic, plastic, those cars were very powerful metal. And the, 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 the glass broke the girl's abdomen, it cut the girl's abdomen. And then the, the glass broke, and then the, uh, the intestines fell on the streets. Now, a free um a a and then I, 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 I
everybody was afraid. Like a car a crash a foul on the road. He said, yeah, And everybody was afraid. But there was something in me. It's called the high league guys. The Holy Ghost. The anointing of God. The power of God. The Holy Spirit power. And then I Most took the girl from the ground. And there were broken pieces of glasses in the intestines. I didn't know, I didn't know medicine. I have Holy Ghost. And if you have Holy Ghost, you will not fear anything. You are so courageous. And you are courageous to handle everything. So I take the child, place it on my cream suit, to me, me Press my on my cream suit, my child in the soul, and all my suit was with blood. Now, me, my, my child in the my shirt moja. with was with blood. And I mean, my child, yes, I mean. So today, I've not worn that uh, that suit and that shirt again. It was stained with blood. Basically, I mean, my child in the soul, my child in the beam, my child in the moja of him. And then we said we were going to Kolebu teaching hospital. But whilst we were going, the girl closed her eyes. Now, my cousin was driving, Mama Franz was sitting in front. That's the Mama Franz's daughter, son, and I was sitting at the back, and the girl was lying on me. I feel I'm a friend that I saw me here. I am Mama Franz's band, so at the end, I'm not Mama Franz. So my cousin is called Mike Franz. He goes PIWC Coco Mlimbe. He's called Mike Franz. If you're Mike Franz, I work PIWC Coco Mlimbe. So if you doubt it, ask him. To ubet me, I could push a sign in the panel. And then whilst we're driving, it's in a black August. You go to the girl was closing the eyes. Who knows that I'm a friend of Katanini? She was about to die. I feel not Obi. Die in our hands. We are not going to disco. We are not disco. We are not going to anything. But we are going to the house of God. Now, you are going to the first center. And then the first thing that came into my mouth was the Holy Spirit language that the enemy cannot interrupt. And I began to change into that gear. And then Mama France lifted up her hands and, and also joined me in the chorus of tones. And my friend and my cousin called my friends. We call him Nido Do. I said, Nido Do was there holding the microphone. He said, And then the, the, the car turned into the upper room of the Holy Ghost. And then I was playing and then you know the tones, tones are going away, tones, big, big tones. In the name of Jesus. The streets that will pass, there were some, uh, uh, what we call Tiafiloli. That is uh, sanitary, <laughs> sanitary uh, 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 tracks that block the road. Now, Abra Yakwano, a saying, Cassia, yeah, Janani be a Sipano. And I told my car, Nero Root, to 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 get your gotano, that go rakatanaba. You are we're crazy. To be cut over the gata, qua, 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 and so I held the girl. See, I And I went to the OPD. And then they said, This girl is dead. So I sent the girl to the OPD theater. At that time, when I was in primary school, that office was my mom's office. So I brought her to the office. Which is now the OPD. Ah, OPD, you see. And then the nurse were telling me, "Go, the girl is dead." And my cousin was crying. Mama France was crying by speaking in tongues. I was crying. I was speaking in tongues. And uh, the nurse said, "Go, he's dead. He will take her to Mochi." So I asked the girl. Before they close her, what is your name? So that in case you die, we can locate where your parents are. And the guy say, I'm called Dede. You know, your busa of Rana say, Mudidi say, and Sakura on the back of the other way, I bet me I'm going to cry. And you know, I'm going to cry. So, whilst 
the nurse told me she has uh, she's dead go I said, give me five minutes. Give me five minutes. Give me five minutes. And God will show wonders here in Kolebu teaching hospital. And I began to change into another gear. More than what we were praying in the car. Then they come and then the girl opened her eyes. Nafe opie neni. I would not know when I was shouting in tongues. It was like an alarm, calling doctors from all walks of life, and they were coming. It you know, abra na me kan kaza fufu na me nimu se adani tisa alarm a efre doctor phone ina efre miya ina aba. When I got, I, 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 when the girl came back and I realized she was now conscious, here were doctors surrounding me, and they sent the girl to theater so forth. I was standing at the gate of the theater. And I didn't say anything. I could not speak the language of men. Mama France could not speak the language of men. Mama France, but all that we could speak. Ikilabo, Katanehu, Shekale, Toloka, Imba, Baba, Baba, Akura, Katarabaka. And we're praying two hours without interruption. Two hours time, one doctor opened the door. And said the operation was successful. Now say, aye. Two weeks. The girl was discharged. As I speak to you now, these girls whose abdomen was cut. And then the instant I came out, she has given birth to three children. If anyone had come, as at the time that I know, she has given birth to three children. I want you to know that the Holy Ghost is a sign for you. And it is not only speaking in tongues, but speaking in tongues speaks mysteries. And we will sing and we will pray. But we will lead us. Oh, you know, for frogu, me cremu, ma niya ebu ni na niya webu. Wawa me ni swabu ma me, I no so java me cremu. Oje oja so 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 ni oja, oje oja so 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 ni oja.